Okay, the goal of the firm. In, so, the goal of the firm, uh, the traditional approach goal of the firm is the prof profit maximization and the modern approach for the goal of the firm is the wealth maximization. They are the big difference between profit and wealth maximization. For the profit maximization, whatever company think, whatever company, think, what, what the decision making made by company, it only think about the profit. And normally for the profit, uh, when the company tend to think about the profit or to maximize its profit, uh, the company, they akan buat apa? Dia akan, whatever company punya strategy, dia cuma akan fikir untuk profit and that uh, decision normally only consider for the short term punya uh, maximization. Okay. For example, contoh yang paling senang lah. Kalau you tengok kan yang orang-orang uh, apa tu yang eh bukan nak mengumpat lah cuma nak bagi tahu je. Yang jorang kosmetik-kosmetik punya orang ni kan you tengok kenapa jorang selalu buat viral, buat buat gempak macam tu kan. Because they, they tend or they prefer to go in viral because it one of their marketing strategy. Okay, marketing strategy bila dia buat hal ke apa semua, so people we know, we notice about the product. Okay, itu jorang punya main objective because of why? Because memang dia fikir dia nak increase the sale. So that is one of the example of the profit maximization. But when we do that, kita kena fikir pula how about the ethical consideration. Benda tu etik ke tak etik sebenarnya you nak buat nak something like memperbodohkan diri macam tu kan. Okay, that's why for the corporation, for the profit maximization, this dia tak, orang kata tak fikir panjang lah. Okay. You tengok uh, kenapa yang kosmetik kosmetik tu kan, they are there to do that kind of uh, marketing strategy. Why corporation? Kenapa you tengok orang corporation lah, orang tak ada pun buat macam strategi macam tu. Nak, nak viral sangat macam tu kan. Tapi for the corporation, orang terlalu menjaga nama, reputation dia. Okay, because of what? The corporation, they are, they are really concerned about their shareholders. Okay, the shareholder because the main objective of the firm actually to maximize the shareholder wealth. Okay, so yang ni berbalik dekat sini tadi tu, the corporation. Remember when we talk about the corporation, it involve with the shareholder. Dia ada kena-mengena dengan shareholder. Who are the shareholder of the company? Orang yang beli saham company tu. Whereas for the partnership and sole proprietorship, they are not concerned about the shareholder. Okay, so that's why they are daring, they are there, they, they berani untuk buat sesuatu action menarik perhatian walaupun benda tu we consider as memalukan diri sendiri, something like that lah. Okay, and how uh, what it mean by max, uh, the, the the wealth maximization is to maximize shareholder wealth. Okay, macam mana nak menaikkan shareholder wealth ni? Dengan maximize the share price. Okay, so for example, okay, uh, kita beli saham uh, WCT. Okay, WCT is under construction. Okay, so WCT is the construction company that listed in the Bursa Malaysia. Okay, so WCT WCT whatever decision or announcement that WCT make, dia nak invest dekat mana-mana ke, dia nak buat keputusan apa-apa ke, they will think about their shareholder, pemegang saham dia ni. Okay, because uh, in finance, dia ada satu teori yang you akan belajar dalam chapter 9 eh, behavioral market theory. Dia kata any information, any information in the market, it will reflect with the share price. Market share price ni akan bergerak the movement of the share price sama ada naik ataupun turun based on the information. Okay, based on the news that investor will receive. Okay, contohnya eh, WCT for your information, WCT kalau dia nak buat macam zaman uh, WCT ni is one of the our Najib Razak punya lah WCT ni company. Dia, ada dia punya geng-geng dia dalam tu. Okay. So WCT corporation ni kalau masa yang dulu tu saham dia jatuh sangat-sangat. Okay because of what in 2018. Nanti lah daripada RM2 jatuh kepada RM30, RM50. 
saham dia jatuh. So sebabnya apa? Sebab masa tu uh, people have the bad news about uh, the, the, the ex prime minister the former Prime Minister Najib Razak masa tu dengan dia punya wife dia Rosmah and so on. So harga saham WCT daripada RM2, RM2 lebih ni dia jatuh kepada 30 sen. Okay. So bila jatuh pada 30 sen, if you as a shareholder, shareholder siapa? Orang yang beli saham company kan? Kita akan rasa macam dissatisfied. Okay. So that's why whatever company do, the decision making company do, dia akan fikir cara macam mana nak naikkan harga saham. Okay, so that's why dia akan fikir cara okay dia buat announcement. Kita akan buat R&D. Dia akan invest dekat uh, KLTC. Dia dapat satu projek dekat Dubai. Uh, something like that. So whatever company do, dia tak akan buat satu unethical. Tak ada lah macam uh, sebab kita kata WCT ni kan ada berkenaan dengan uh, Najib, Tan Sri Najib punya kan. Tak adalah Tan Sri Najib tu pula dia buat buat sesuatu benda untuk menaikkan dia punya company ni, dia punya scope person company ni macam tu lah. Okay, because uh, okay, that's what. Another one for the profit maximization, for uh, for the profit maximization company, selalunya dia akan cut cost. Okay, whatever do dia kata okay, there is no need for R&D. Untuk apa kita buat R&D? Sebabnya macam Uh, tak perlu pun benda ni. Kenapa tak boleh dengan sedia ada? R&D involve kita uh, large amount of money. Banyak sangat nak pakai duit apa semua. Itu membazir. Macam tu. So uh, these are the difference between the uh, profit maximization and wealth maximization. But the main actually benda yang paling utama is about wealth maximization. Because when we consider about the wealth maximization indirectly that company also will gain profit. Okay, so in other words, indirectly we say that the profit maximization actually is a part under wealth maximization. Kita utamakan kita punya shareholder dulu. Whatever we do, whatever uh, the decision making that company made, dia kena fikir. Benda ni ada effect tak dengan share price? Kalau corporation nak buat lawak-lawak uh, apa tu orang kata marketing strategi yang viral-viral yang tak berapa bagus tu kan unethi quite unethical behaviour benda tu memang akan boom, profit memang cepat akan naik but then how about the share price? Share price tu akan naik sekejap ke ataupun lama? Because for the wealth maximization normally they will consider about the long term effect. Okay, profit maximization dia cuma consider about the short term effect. Okay. So this example, simple example about the profit versus wealth maximization. Okay, for example, the company want uh, want to buy. Okay, and the capital budgeting, company want to buy machine. Uh, want to buy the new machine. So there are two uh, option. The company have the option whether uh, want to purchase machine A or machine B. Okay, with the different uh, with the same tenure, five years lifespan of the machine, but the different cost. Uh, jangka hayat mesin tu sama tapi kos dia lain. Okay. So for the profit maximization company, okay, they will tend to purchase the lowest cost of the machine which is they will choose machine A. Because of what? Dia cuma kata, oh yang ni jangka hayat dia sama je. Ni lima tahun, ni pun lima tahun. Why we should pay more? Okay. That is the profit maximization decision making for the capital budgeting. But for the wealth maximization, before they make decision to buy machine A and machine B, they will evaluate details. Okay, dia akan tengok berapa banyak cash flow machine A bagi. How much cash flow that generated from machine B. And what is the discounted payback that these two machine give. And what is the internal rate of return. What is the net present value from the both machine. So, For the wealth maximization, the, the way they evaluate is not only depend on the cost of the machine. Okay, dia akan evaluate more details. Okay, because of what? Kalau tengok daripada segi cost sahaja, benda ini dia tidak consider time value of money. At the end, kita nak tengok dia punya cash flow of the certain project. Okay, so... Uh, in short, we can say that for the profit maximization, dia cuma fikir cara yang uh, 
orang kata apa, fikir untuk dapatkan profit cepat. Salah satu cara nak dapat profit cepat macam mana dengan kita cut cost. Cut cost ni macam ni lah. Uh, belilah mesin yang murah sikit uh, macam tu. For the wealth maximization, uh, instead of considering about the cost, dia akan consider benda lain lagi. Okay. Okay. So this is the difference between profit and wealth maximization. Okay, so far okay. 